Wayne College says it's trying to get back on track and off probation, but more problems could be on the way. The school has agreed to settle a lawsuit with the student raped in a dorm bathroom, but now it seems the school might have broken a law when that crime happened. In a 12 on your side investigation, Laura Warren uncovers how the school could have to pay out even more. There is a law called the Clary Act that's been in place since the early 90s. It says any school receiving federal funding, even if they're private, must notify students of campus, any crime on campus or around campus. But students we talked to say that did not happen in this case. Jarius Dantzler attempted to rape a 19-year-old girl in her Payne College dorm room in November of 2012. She left her room unlocked to go to the bathroom, came back, and he attacked her. She was able to scratch his face and fight him off. Dantzler pled guilty to that incident, along with two others last week. This day will live with her for the rest of her life, thanks to you. Crime scene photos show a stick left to prop open a back door. Investigators believe that's how Dantzler got into Graham Hall. But students say they never received any sort of alert about the attempted rape. At no time uh, did we feel that the student safety was in jeopardy here on campus. Students say the emergency notification system in place on campus was never used. The Clary Act states schools are required to issue timely warnings about Clary Act crimes, which pose a serious or ongoing threat to students and employees. Sex offenses are considered one of the crimes that must be reported. Fast forward four months later to a frantic 911 call coming from the same dorm building. 911 is actually emergency. Please help me. Someone tried to hurt my roommate. Jarius Dantzler, who is not a student at Payne, once again snuck into the same dormitory, this time hiding in a bathroom, waiting to make his move. Someone touched her. Touched her? You mean sexually or what? what, what sexually? Yes. Yeah. Was she raped? Were you raped? Yes. Are you for me? Dantzler raped the student in a bathroom stall. You was going to accomplish what you was going to accomplish this time. So you hid in that bathroom, and she just happened to be the unlucky girl that came wandering her in that bathroom to take a shower. Again, even after a rape on campus, students say they were not notified of any sort of threat. Proper steps were taken to ensure the safety of the students. The student who was raped filed a lawsuit against the school, citing a lack of security and faulted pain for not warning students after the first attack four months earlier. Nothing was done after that to prevent this from happening. After the rape, we spoke with one student too scared to go on camera, upset with the way the school handled things. Uh, they haven't sent nothing to the email, nothing to the text message. Even more concerning, case files reveal these two sexual assaults are not isolated incidents. After the rape, while Richmond County investigators were trying to nail down a suspect, the head of Payne College Public Safety told them they may want to investigate someone, and they gave Richmond County investigators a name. But it wasn't Dantzler. They said this person was, quote, being investigated by the college for several sexual assaults on campus. Now, if Payne is found in violation of the Clary Act, they can face up to a $35,000 fine for each infraction. But perhaps even more serious for them, since they are already in financial distress, they can risk suspension from certain federal student financial aid programs, too.